guys, Derek here. So, after looking around on the uh, internet and finding out a few things from my good friends over at Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint, they were they've built already built a belt printer um, from their Ender 3, which is obviously the kit version they brought. I then contacted the company um, Avid uh, 3D, uh, Avid 3D. Um, they've got their own website, which is uh, Belt 3D Printer Kits. Uh, sorry, Belt 3D Printer Kit .com. If you go on the internet, you'll find them there. Now, this kit is for a uh, Artillery Sidewinder X1. The first one. Um, this is obviously I wanted something different over the Ender 3. My Ender 3 has got a build volume of 500 on the Z, but I wanted to try something different. Uh, and using the artillery, I thought I'd give this a go. Anyway, contacted them. Um, they shipped out a um, one kit for me. Now these kits on the website are, uh, I'm just having a quick look now, $420. Um, that is roughly 312 English pounds. Now the Sidewinder you can pick up for, I picked mine up for, I was pretty lucky picking them up for about 300 quid. So this and that is about 600 quid, okay. But if I got a CR30 of about a thousand pound, I'm saving myself four hundred pound, maybe. And this is going to be wider than the Ender 3 as well. So fingers crossed, uh, I will see what we've got. So this is just going to be the unboxing. I will have plenty of videos coming up with parts where I'm. Um, it start installing the parts and also doing the firmware as well. So I'm going to open this up. Let's see what we got. So you'll see the parts as I am. They are all metal parts as well. Blue! Same colour as artillery, which is going to be fantastic. So we've got plenty of metal parts. These are all the brackets and such. All the brackets. All metal. We have the belt. I'm not going to open it, but you've got the belt there. We have got in here uh, the rollers. Quite nice rollers actually, you know, also metal. What else have we got in here? Let's have a look. Anything? No, right, package material. A bit of foam. Right. So, we've got some, these are 2020 extrusions, I'm just going to place them here for now, just behind the box, I will move the box in a minute. We have half a 2020 extrusion, I'm sure it'll all come together. We have cob, oh, my word, that, that is a nice thick rod. Very straight as well. 
which is good. I've got another one as well, which is a bit smaller. Also a bit longer as well. Let's have another look. Right. Okay, so more 2020 extrusions. Now these are... They all look great. I mean, obviously they've got a few uh, bits of burr and stuff on it like these. But when you obviously takes all the metal shims off as well, which is great. Okay, so this is a twenty forty. Another thick rod. I'm guessing they could be for the rollers. What else we've got here? Another half one, 2010. Not too sure if they came in the end of three kit. Big bag. Let's have a quick look in here. Right, okay. So we've got a few 3D printed parts in here. Um, which just need deburring. So just a few 3D printed parts. If I remember rightly, the actual kit for the Ender 3, you, ha you would have had to print these off, but obviously they're already printed. They just need deburring and maybe cle clearing out the, the little holes. Right, we've got some. M5 V slot T nuts in this bag we have a load more metal plates and we've got the the artillery belt um, oh that way around maybe there you go artillery belt and there we go, another one. I think I that. And then just some more brackets. They're all metal parts. What else have we got in there? Okay, so we've got some more. Twenty forties. Sorry, in this bag still we've got a timing pulley. We have stepper motor and new belts as well. Uh, sorry, stepper motor cables and belts. Here's another GT2 belt. These are headless screws, M3s. Uh, 12, 12 mil shaft parts. I'm guessing it's for the possibly the rollers. I don't know. I haven't put one of these together. We have a timing pulley, 60 teeth, uh, 12 mil bore. The six mil belt width. We got some more more bolts. We have an M3 nylon locking nut. Uh, button bolt hex Allen heads. We got some GT2 timing pulleys. Uh, GT2 timing pulley wheels, yeah. They have also done, given us some nozzles, which are uh, 0.4 and 0.6 nozzles in there. Let's have a look. 
what else have we got? We've got loads of stuff. We've got some more Allen head bolts. We've got more Allen head bolts, obviously different sizes. Uh, M4 Allen bolts. Still looking for all this. We've got some more bolts. Uh, some locking nuts. Yeah. Another big timey pulley belty thingy. <laughs> Allen head bolts, some more. Oh God, we've got loads. Uh, M4 T nuts for the smaller profiles. And MC, um, M6 nuts. That was in that bag. I'm going to put it all back in there. Like I said, I haven't put one of these together. I've only seen people uh, put them together, uh, but they're only the end of three belts, not the artillery one. So this is something completely new. And we've got some. Oh dear, good word. It's a long gas, six uh, forty twenty. Do all this now. Obviously, you've got metal shavings you've got to be careful of. Trying to go as quick as I can. Um, okay, so we've got another. Two lots of tw uh, 20, 40 aluminium extrusions in the box. There is nothing else. So that is it. I've been told that they will send me the instructions and the uh, new firmware, because obviously it's going to need new firmware. I can't see anything else. In the box, I thought they would have provided like an SD card with all the other stuff, but maybe because these are brand new and obviously the end of three kits have gone, gone crazy. It's a possibility that these are uh, well, they're still tweaking the firmware, they're tweaking the instructions. I have been told that they will uh, pass them to me. Um, obviously if you ordered one of these you'll get everything as well, all the instructions. I'm guessing they send you an SD card to make it easy for them. Um, but I just need a link to the firmware and how to put it all together. So over the next you, I'm gonna, I know that I'll more likely put it together uh, this weekend coming, but I will also do videos on it uh, so you don't miss out. I'll be uploading them as well. But uh, this is it. So it got quite a, quite a few bits and pieces. Uh, as I said, I'll put it all to one side. But I think the best thing is it's come out uh, the same colours as the artillery and I'm just going to need to go over some of these printed bits. They just need deburring. Like so. They just need deburring, straighten them up, which I can do. But anyway, that's the unboxing of the artillery signed wider belt kit. Um, I'll put all the links below that I have to this and I will be putting some more videos up when I start building it. Okay, see you soon. Bye.